Oh, hello buddy, this is RJ Epic here, and welcome to my all-new Comic Call number 121. That is right, I'm back with another all-new Comic Call. It has been over a month since I have filmed my last one, and that is quite wild, because I was doing really steady. And the thing about the Comic Calls currently, this is actually only the first of five that I have to film. Um, I've had a build up. I want to say I've built these comics up for like a month, a month and a half. I've been consistently picking them up, trying to stay up to date. Um, but I just haven't had time to record. So you are gonna be. It's not gonna be quite like up to date uh, for a little bit on the videos. Um, and I probably have another one coming soon, so I'm probably still gonna. I, this is probably only gonna be. This is probably gonna be the only one I do tonight, out of the five, and I'll have to find time to do them uh, other times. But I figured I'll try to at least get the one done tonight, and uh, that'll be a lot better. Um, and man, I've been waiting to do this one for a while. There's some really good stuff in here that I want to get to reading. So yeah, um, there. I mean, I could say that about all of them, but yeah, I mean, I have two stacks for this haul, two stacks for another, the next haul. Um, one stack for the haul off of that, then two stacks again, then two stacks again. So yeah, I've been getting a lot of good stuff recently, but yeah. So in this first stack, I've only got so much time to make this video too, so yeah. In the first stack, I have some Archie stuff, um, some IDW, some Image, then some Titan, and then some DC, and then this stack is all Marvel. I have a lot of, there's a lot of good stuff, a lot of new awesome number ones in this haul, especially on the Marvel side of fans, and there's some cool stuff on this side of fans too, actually. Um, I kind of keep forgetting. I actually kind of forgot, like, what was in this haul, because it's been so long. I'm like, really? I haven't made a video on this yet, and I've picked up, like, the issues after some fans. I'm like, holy. Yeah, like, I've been, I it's been a while. Anyway, we're going to get right into it. We're going to start the haul off with... Archie number 706, which is part 205 of the Archie and Sabrina story. We got cover A, B, and C here for that one. I'm trying to slowly catch up on my Archie stuff, so yeah. I got Jughead the Hunger versus Fan Peronica number 3. I got cover A, B, and C for that one also. And then I got Jughead's Time Police number 2 covers A, B, and C. I got Glow Issues number 2 and 3 from IDW. Um, I actually have all the Glow Issues now, but they're not all in this haul. Yeah, like, I could mix and match, but I, I like to not mix and match so, uh, between hauls, so, yeah. Moving on to the uh, image stuff. Oh, wait, I'm not done with the... Also from IDW, I got Marilyn Manor issue number one. Issue number two has not come out yet, which is weird. I guess it got delayed, um, which makes me almost regret getting this because if I knew it was going to get delayed, I might not have. It's supposed to be a four issue mini, and I thought it would be over. It's supposed to be over in September, but I don't know when the next one's coming out yet. So excited to read this. It looks kind of cool. I For the longest time, I wasn't going to get the, I wanted to get this, but I wasn't going to. And then I said, screw it. I, I really want to read this. So yeah, it's only four issues long, so it's no, not too big a deal. I got moving on to image stuff now. I got crowded issue number seven covers A and B. And then I got Farmhand issue number 10 to finish off the second arc, uh, which will, um, which means this comic's going on hiatus for a while. I've still only read the first two issues and reviewed them on League of Comic Geeks. Um, and it was a pretty interesting comic, not one of my favorites that I, uh, was reading. Um, probably on the lower end of the spectrum for the image titles, but I still was enjoying it. I gotta catch up more, see if I'm still enjoying it. Um... Who knows when it's going to return to issue number 11, so hopefully by then I will be caught up the date just to make sure I want to keep reading. Crowded, I've still only read the first issue of, so yeah. Uh, moving on now to Gideon Falls, number 15, covers A and B. Gideon Falls, I've read the first full arc, which is the first full six issues, and it's one of my favorites, uh, one of my favorite new titles from last year. So I can't wait to catch up on this title and read more. It's just, yeah, they just take so long to review, I I haven't been catching up on them. I got Sonata, issue number two, got covers A and B. I'm really excited to start reading this one, it looks so good. I, lo I, lo I love the art for this title. And uh, I had to wait a few weeks to get my um, 
copy of the regular cover on this one, which is why I didn't buy it the first week came out because I was going to. Um, but I got Unearth issue number one. I uh, never knew ongoing from Image. It looks pretty interesting, and they got covers A and B. Oh, another one I'm excited to start. From Titan, I got the ever so awesome Life is Strange. I got issue number seven. I uh, cannot wait to read this. I'm up to date uh, before this issue on reading this series and reviewing it. So I just got to read and review this one. Um, issue eight comes out at the end of this month. It's August uh, 16th when I'm recording this. So yeah, got the regular cover, got the game art variants and the t-shirt variants. So yeah, moving on to DC. The first item is actually a young animal imprint uh, item from DC, which is my first young animal series I'm going to be picking up. Uh, well, because it's a new character and it sounds neat. So I decided I was going to pick up Collapser and this is issue number one. I got the regular cover and the variant. New character seems like a cool concept um it's only a mini series too like five issues or something i think or is it six i don't know it's one of those two i believe i don't think it's only four i don't know either way i'm excited to read it um so yeah female furies i finally finished off so i got issues four five and six so uh yeah i haven't started reading this one yet but i'm quite excited i like the new god characters and stuff so yeah love big Berta. so can't wait to read this one Got Just League Dark number 13. I'm trying to stay up to date on Just League stuff. Got Just League, the regular Just League number 28. And then catching up on some Superman stuff. I got the Fent and number 2 of 6. Regular cover and beautiful Farian. And then in the last video, I believe it was, I had Lois Lane number 1. And I'm also going to be getting Superman pals, Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen uh, with the issue number 1 of 12. Uh, and I got the regular and the variant for this one also. Moving on now to the Marvel stack. Uh, I finished off the Domino Hotshots miniseries. So I got issues 3, 4, and 5 of 5. So I just need to catch up on reading my Domino stuff. I've only read the first 4 of the run before out of the 10. Um, so I got to read the last 6 of that run and then read all 5 of these and I'll be done with my Domino. Um, one of the big ones I've been waiting to read from this is X-Force issue number 10, the last issue of this title. Um, I've been waiting for this because I want to binge read all 10 issues of this series in one go. I'm not going to bother reviewing it since I didn't like read and I didn't review Extermination, uh, which was by Ed Bryson and, and stuff. So I'm just going to binge read X-Force so I can enjoy it in depth. Um, like I did with just recently, I've read West Coast Defenders, Typhoid Fever, all binge reading. Uh, so I read those two. Marvel Knights 20th I read the other week. Um... Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, I've been reading a lot of miniseries and 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 canceled early uh, stuff recently. So yeah, I picked one of the big ones in this haul. I would love to have this at the end, but there's a lot of other cool stuff at the end too. So it just didn't work quite work out. I got House of X issue number one of six. House and Powers of X are the two big titles currently coming out. I got the regular cover and the beautiful, beautiful Mark Brooks connecting cover on this one, which connects to the other issue one, Powers of X. So yeah, I will be getting both, of course. Coming out weekly uh, for six, uh, coming out weekly uh, for 12 weeks, and yeah, good stuff. Uh, got Doctor Strange number 16, got the regular cover and the Spider-Man suit variant, which is Spider Armor or whatever, or something like that, a stealth suit maybe, I don't know. Got Invaders issue number 6, and Got Invaders issue number 7, which has a secret variant. The last of them, I think, no it's not, there's one later in this haul. Um, and then I got Tony Stark Iron Man number 14. Cool and York Lee regular cover and the Carnageized variant. Gotta catch up on that one, I've read the first, first 7 issues of Iron Man. I gotta catch up a bit. I uh, got Daredevil issue number 8, regular and Carnageized variants. I've read the first three Daredevil now. I've read a couple issues in the past few weeks. Uh, Daredevil is so good. Immortal Hulk number 21. 
Captain Marvel number five, Captain Marvel number six, Captain Marvel number seven, and the big one, oh, number seven, Spider-Man suit variant, and the big one, Captain Marvel number eight. I technically don't have a regular couple, a cover of Captain Marvel number eight, but I made sure to get the secret cover. I would have had the regular two, but then I just let them, I let the, I um, sold my other copy to a different customer because I work at the comic shop where I decided to just sell the other copy, so yeah. I got the secret variants, which I want to I make sure I get because it has the extra page and stuff that leads up to absolute carnage and yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then I got the beautiful and new ugly carnageized variants. Um, and the important thing about this issue is it is the first appearance of a new character named Star, a new hero named Star, I guess, or something. I haven't started reading this Captain Marvel run yet. That's the other series I binge read that I was trying to think of. Life of Captain Marvel I finally read, which was really good. I'm going to start the jump into Captain Marvel real soon because that was what was in my way to jumping into this series. I'm really glad I decided to pick up Captain Marvel when it uh, was when it was solicited for originally, so yeah. Got Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man issue number 8. I got the regular cover and I got the uh, Spider-Man suit variants. I got Spider-Man City at War. I caught up on this title. I got issues 3, 4, and 5 with 5 having a 8-bit uh, video game variant. I got Phenom number 16, regular cover and nice carnageized variant from Ron Lim. I got Avengers number 21. Uh, finishing off some War of the Realms, finishing off War of the Realms here officially with War of the Realms Omega number one, regular cover and variants. Uh, still kind of keeping War of the Realms, um, type things together. So I have Thor number 15 here with a regular, beautiful regular and a carnishized variant. Swordmaster number one, which is one of the new characters that has debuted recently, uh, uh out of, I don't know if he was in the New Age of Atlas or he, or what. I, I think he might have been, yeah. So that might be where. But yeah, uh, there's two stories in this. And then the You Guys Saw Arrow in the last haul. Two arrows, two um, stories in each. One from the original creators. One from Greg Pak and his artist on each title. Got the regular and extra figure variant. I'm really excited to read this and Arrow. I'm more excited to read Arrow. I think that's going to be the one I like more. So, yeah. And I also picked up Loki issue number one, which uh, got a regular cover and a uh, carnageized variant. Both cool covers. Oscar Basalgia, uh, Basalgia is the um, artist on the series, and he did some work on Miles Morales' series on the last run of Bendis, and it was really good. And then last but not least... One of the most, uh, one of the most, one of the series I've most excited to read out of this whole year. This is literally one of the titles I'm most excited to read. It is Jane Foster Felkery, issue number one. And we got the awesome news. I'm not going to go full in depth with it because I might talk more about it than ever time. But Comic Con this year, we saw uh, the next slate of Marvel movies and shows for the Disney Plus service announced. And in, I am so excited that Jason Aaron's story um, has hit home, has hit with Taika Waititi. And he, what, uh, yeah with the director and he's gonna be doing a movie called Thor Love and Thunder which is this movie I'm the second most excited for after Black Widow um and it's gonna be introducing the female four Jane Foster although now in the comics she's Valkyrie of course but that's so awesome that female four is gonna be in the MCU Jason Aaron's run on Thor has been so awesome it's yeah just just leave it at that. It's been so awesome. Jane Foster is an awesome character. I got the regular cover and the variants here by, um, I forget who did the variant right now, but the be beautiful covers, both of them, and the interiors look good. And what a creative team. Jason Aaron and Al Ewan co-writing. Kafu's art is beautiful, so... I cannot wait to read that. I'm excited to read Loki, but way I'm more excited to read this because I've been loving Jane Foster. Female 4 is great. I'm actually in the middle currently of um, picking up uh, all the and finishing off all the Mighty Thor issues I don't have from the Jane Foster run. And actually, I have most of them I have bought since, and I'm waiting for a few that I ordered online in a uh, order from Midtown Comics. I ordered. I put an order through a couple weeks ago. Still hasn't come. I don't know when that's coming. Actually, I gotta check on that order. Um, 
So I have some issues coming from that and the issues I already have and I actually only need to find one more issue now which is awesome. So I gotta hunt that down somewhere and somehow so I can finish that runoff. Uh, finally. I don't even think it's like that special of an issue or anything. It's just a matter of finding it. So I don't think I'll be paying too much extra for it or anything. So yeah, really cool stuff. Um, and of course I'm in the middle of reading the Thor God of Thunder run that I picked up a while back. Um, I've read the first arc of it, the first five or six issues. I, I want to say it was six that I've read because the sixth issue I think is a one-off story for any for um, the Gore the God Butcher's uh, origin. So yeah, that's where I'm at on that. I have really not been reading that as quick as I should be, but I think I'm trying to... I'm not trying to like zoom through it because I want to like, <laughs> I want to make it last a while because I really want to enjoy it. Like I don't want to read through it too quick and be like, oh man, I read through that too quick. So yeah. Anyway guys, enough talking from me. I'm going to end this video now. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and even share if you would like to. And anyway guys, I'll see you on the next video and peace out. Bye.